Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. It is YouTube channel will help you to achieve the full potential of your home cooking. At this morning walk, uh, was one of those moments that I'm glad to be alive, grateful to witness the extraordinary beauty of nature, thankful to be part of the natural world, and grateful to be able to share my experience with you through these YouTube videos. Perhaps through the common appreciation of nature, uh, people in this country as well as around the world can recognize that we have more in common than different from each other so that we can all work together to preserve this beautiful planet for the future generations. Okay, let's go to today's video. In this video, I would like to demonstrate to you how to apply the fast cooking system to make home cooking as part of your daily routines. Using my cooking system, uh, cooking this evening meal has never been a problem for me because I have many possibilities of what to cook. I can also cook various amounts uh, for two people or for up to eight people or could be done with great efficiency. Uh, this evening is a good example uh, because my advanced prepping actually already informed me what I should cook. I take a quick look in the refrigerator and I select the items that I need to cook first. And for this evening, I know that I have three items that I should use up pretty quickly. And the first is some fresh, never frozen salmon. With its expiration dates coming up, I need to use them today. And the second is some spinach, which I purchased about a week ago. And the third is some white mushroom that I know I should use them up soon. Well, this afternoon I fell asleep in my chair and I know my wife is getting hungry, so I should prepare a quick meal. And to decide what to cook is simple and straightforward with template-based cooking. I have many different options uh, to select how to cook these ingredients, and for tonight, I'm going to choose the simplest way. And not only that this is going to be fast, but at the same time, I'm looking forward to taste the natural flavors of these ingredients. Uh, to cook this dish, I'm going to use 2 tablespoons of uh, cooking oil in my honeycomb standard steel wok. Uh, this type of wok commonly is known as a hybrid wok uh, because it contains both a standard steel as well as a non-stick cook surface. And, and to learn more about this type of woks, uh, you can take a look at this video. I acquired this wok last week. Uh, after I did a review, I would like to try to cook different types of dishes in this wok, so I'm still testing it out. Uh, my regular everyday wok is a Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok. Uh, to create a non-stick cook surface, I season the wok using my spot seasoning method each time uh, before a cooking session. I'm going to do the same with this wok. I'm going to heat up the oil until it starts to smoke gently, and then I turn down the heat. Uh, this time, I'm going to let the oil to smoke only for a few seconds before I start to cook. I first cut up the salmon into small pieces before I pan fry them. Uh, this method has two advantages. The first one is that it cooks much quicker, and secondly, it gives me better control of the doneness of individual pieces because normally the thicker pieces uh, take a little bit longer time to cook, whereas the thinner pieces cook much quicker. By using this cooking method, it reduces the cooking time by 50% when you compare to uh, when the whole pieces of salmon is being cooked. It is very important when you put the salmon uh, into the surface of the wall, uh, you should put the skin side down. By using this method, uh, you can sear the skin of the salmon and give it a crispy texture. Uh, this method will drive the fat layer uh, out from the skin and make the skin taste truly delicious. If you'd like to learn more about this uh, cooking method, you can take a look at this video. Here I cook 8 ounces of salmon for my wife and I. Uh, I find that when we serve salmon with vegetables, 
the whole is much greater than the sum. It makes both the salmon and vegetables taste better. And when you combine them together, the culinary experience is better than when you have them by themselves. And because of this reason, uh, I am not going to season the salmon. Uh, I let the natural flavor of the salmon to blend with the vegetables. And by trying many different approaches to season the salmon, uh, I think this is probably the best way to enjoy the natural flavor of the salmon. And in this case, the quality of the salmon is vital. Uh, you should always select salmon that is fresh and have never been frozen. I fried the salmon for about two minutes under medium heat. I then turned the salmon over to fry the other side. As you can see here, the skin of the salmon is beautifully seared. Normally, most people would not eat the skin of the salmon because it is too oily. But using this method, actually the skin is going to turn out to be the best part of the salmon. I use my long handle tongue to turn the salmon over. It is much less time is needed to fry the other sides of the salmon. Another wonderful advantage of using this method, by cutting the salmon into small pieces, you can fry all sides of the salmon. Of course, another great advantage of cooking the salmon this way is that you can cook individual pieces uh, separately. So the thin pieces that cook faster, you can remove them from the wall as soon as uh, you think they are ready. Over the years, because of my wife's love for salmon, I have cooked plenty of salmons in many different ways. From baking, grilling, and pan frying, I really think this method is probably the best method that I have tried. And the taste of the salmon is truly outstanding. So uh, after all the pieces done, I'm going to set them aside. And next, I'm going to cook the spinach and mushroom. I'm going to use the oil that I have cooked the salmon with. Uh, this will enhance the flavor of the spinach and mushroom. I'm going to use about 5 cups of spinach. I bought this spinach from an Indian grocery store. Uh, after I brought them home, I immediately washed them thoroughly. I'm going to use both the stems as well as the leaves. Now it is important that you take care of the spinach right away. Because if you leave them uh, in the plastic bag that it comes in, uh, they tend to get bad really fast. After I wash them, I let them to sit in a colander uh, on the kitchen counter for about uh, 30 minutes. Uh, this will drain out the excess fluid. Uh, and then I put them into a plastic container. Uh, this will extend their shelf life, and normally they are good in the refrigerator for up to a week. I then add 2 cups of white mushroom that has been thinly sliced. As you can see here, the spinach take up a lot of space when you first add them to the wall. And that's the reason why it is important to have a 14-inch wok. Because many leafy vegetables start out with a large volume and then they will cook down very quickly. A 12-inch wok is not big enough to accommodate a large volume of leafy vegetables. And next, I switch to my standard steel wok spatula uh, to stir-fry the contents. Uh, both the spinach and the mushrooms take little time to cook. The texture of the spinach is really important. You want to cook them soft enough, but not too soft that so that they all disintegrated. Uh, this usually takes about one minute. And next, I season the spinach and mushroom uh, with my basic seasoning mix. Uh, this is a very mild seasoning mix. Its, its intention is to enhance the natural flavor of the vegetables and by adding umami flavor to the dish. If you'd like to learn more about this seasoning mix, uh, you can take a look at this video. 
I also added a pinch of salt. Uh, but this dish already very flavorful, so you probably would not need to add any salt if you want to uh, avoid high salt uptake. I continue to stir fry the dish for another 20 to 30 seconds. As you can see, this dish is very fast to cook. It only takes about 5 minutes. The quality of this spinach is excellent, and this makes a very flavorful dish. And next, I transfer the spinach and mushroom uh, to the plate, and I nestle them right next to the salmon that I have cooked earlier. Uh, by cooking the salmon and the spinach and mushroom separately, uh, I can maintain the crispy texture of the salmon. I really enjoy this meal uh, because of the natural flavor of individual food ingredients. Uh, this dish is seasoned very lightly. I really enjoyed this uh, meal uh, because the flavor of all of the ingredients come through beautifully. Uh, both my wife and I enjoy the crispy texture of the salmon, but inside the salmon, it is still moist and tender, which is not overcooked at all. Uh, I really could not tell you how much uh, that we enjoy the stir-fried spinach and the mushroom. This is truly a great dish because the flavor is just absolutely perfect and I strongly recommend you to give this a try. Uh, this is truly an outstanding meal and through flavor chasing, I was able to tailor this meal exactly how I would like to taste each of the food ingredients. And with my fast cooking system, that is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking, I was able to put a meal like this on the table in less than 15 minutes uh, effortlessly. At the end, uh, not only the food tastes great, but I do feel a sense of accomplishment. And this is what makes home cooking sustainable on a daily basis. And if you want to eat delicious food, that is healthy and fun to make, uh, you should definitely take a closer look at my fast cooking system. Uh, so keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.